cum guzzling cock boxing son of a bitch. So you remember how that story came out about that boxer from Philadelphia? What was his name? Yusef Mack. Yusaf Mack. How do you pronounce his name? Well, Ninja, you gay. No, literally, he's gay. Now, he had said at first that some gay porno that came out of him was real, but he was drugged. And that's why he was taking two cocks in the mouth. Well, the porn company called bullshit on him saying that he was drugged. And at first, he said, you know what? You know, people weren't really buying his story. He said, okay, look, guys. He admitted that he was, or seemingly admitted that he was bisexual. He, he just wanted to throw people off. I, I guess he had to come out in pieces and pieces because the new news is that he's not bi. He wasn't drugged. He's gay. <gasps> Nobody's surprised. Two cocks in the mouth on a website. I, I mean, we knew you were fruity in the booty. We knew you were a banana butt, chocolate covered banana butt, shit smoothie ass fruity booty. So the following, yeah, 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 past the peas. We knew what was popping already. News comes courtesy of Fox29.com. They write, and I quote, this is WTXF. They write, and I quote, a week ago, the story of professional Philly boxer Yusef Mack exploded in the media. The 35-year-old father of 10 claimed he was drugged and forced into doing gay porn. What did he get for it? Just $4,500. Now, in the aftermath of Scandal, Max telling a much different story about what he did and the lies he told to cover up who he is. Fox 29's Quincy Harris sat down exclusively with Mac to set the record straight. Mac began the interview by coming out as gay, quote, I'm gay. I'm tired of holding it in. It is what it is. I live my life. I'm gay. Mac explained. Pause the story right there. I'm gay. I'm tired of holding it in. I don't think it's hygienic to just hold it in there. I guess you should let it out. But anyways, the story goes on to say he says he's known the truth about who he is for about eight years now. Last week, when it was revealed that Mac appeared in a gay porno, he responded to the allegations by saying, by saying he was drugged and forced into doing it. End quote. Now, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the story. The story goes on to talk about how he committed suicide. It, it did not say whether or not he was going to kill himself with a sharp dick, but it did say that he contemplated suicide. If you want to read the whole story, click the link below, visit my blog. There's a video on the website of the actual interview as well as some text for you to read. I, I just read a portion of it. But what I did want to say is this. Actually, I'm just going to read to you the very end of this article. It goes on to say, quote, as for everyone else, Mac feels he lied to or hurt. He has a message for them. Quote, the truth is, I'm sorry you don't like me or love me. Regardless, I'm still me. When you see me on the streets, I'm still Yusef Mac. Mac says he and his former fiance are still friends and his other children are supporting him. End quote. Now, the reason why I brought up that last part of the story is this. There has been this shit storm, this ridiculous campaign that's been going around claiming that, well, so-called black people are so incredibly homophobic. They're scared and hateful of gay people and just so incredibly intolerant of homosexuals. But yet his family supports him. I just thought it was really important to reiterate that point. <laughs> yeah. And as far as the jokes that I made at the beginning of this video, I joke about everything and everybody. I even tell straight jokes about straight people, heterosexuals and whatnot. So I don't hear any quote homophobic bullshit about me. I'm not homophobic. I don't give a fuck this dude likes dicks in his mouth. I honestly don't give a shit. Other than the fact that he embarrasses his family. I mean, he's doing a porno with two of them in his mouth. You at least take one at a time. Oh, greedy dick goblin motherfucker. I mean, he just had to eat all the goddamn sausage. I mean, that shit is ridiculous, pun intended. I'm trying, you know, uh, it's hard for me to hold it all in. Yeah, I guess so. When well, you got two of them coming at you at a time. I mean, shit, it's hard for me to swat two flies. Two goddamn penis helicopters spinning around. Oh, come on now, Yousef. Yousef Mac, Yousef Snack. Snacking on snossages. Just anyways. 
whatever. His preference is his own. I'm glad that he's out of the closet now. Screaming, no more wire hangers. Okay, maybe not. Maybe he didn't say that. But the point is, I'm glad he's out of the closet now. He can be himself. If he wants to have a sausage, he can have a sausage. But this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more ladies. If your baby's daddy with 10 children, Bruce Jenner style, just a bunch of kids, came out the closet as liking to wear hats made from testicles as a fitted testicle hat on his fucking head, crying cum tears, testicle tears. What would your reaction be if you were his former fiance or if this is your daddy coming out the closet with nothing but a pair of boxing gloves on his nuts? Let me know what you think about it all below, preferably pink. Let me know what you think about it all below. <gasps> Meat Magazine, M-E-A-T, Meat Magazine.